was a little intense. Yeah, we, uh, working from home today, folks. And boy, we have a lot to, uh, go over. A lot of action these days. It, it depends. I mean, there's action everywhere we look. There's drama everywhere we look. Whether it's profit trailer in your buy, the sports betting, you know, I mean, that is what it is. Um, smart contract BS. Bitcoin and trading. So what do we start with first? I, th I think we start, obviously, with Bitcoin because without that everything else is basically jack shit so folks you know i laid it out i laid it out so far we're on track we had the black line i probably should have kept this black line where uh, like this but i don't need it because i got the the the, ch the button okay we got the button right here so Am I a little nervous? I'm nervous before, I'll be honest, I'm nervous before every prediction and painting that I make, okay? Especially when you're right every damn time. That's for damn sure. <laughs> so, you know, what the trend is our friend. Anyways. Um, so, if we do not get Chinese squeezed at 10.5 and we go up and we touch this line up here we're gonna have to come up for a name for that line I, I don't know it's um here here I'll tell you there's only one thing we know right now there's one thing I can say for sure and that's not even for sure but is that a general consensus believes that we're going to 10.5 so if you wanted to enter in swing trade you want to you want to enter in at 9600 and set sell positions at 105 you know you'd be standard that's that you'd be meta now when you're talking about laying out the chinese squeeze that's advanced but we're on track we're on track. Let me tell you guys what actually happens. This is this is this is this is what's gonna happen. Okay. I want you to picture a boardroom. It's it's dark, and a Chinaman opens the door to the office and he says, "Me chao pa. What do we do next, pa? The big hot, big hot." And he says. Or he says, wait, let them go a little longer, right? So like when we get to right here, this is when the Chinaman enters the boardroom and he asks, he asks the head, they sit at the board and they go, they, there's a, but maybe there's, there's a big board, maybe it's not even one man, there's a, there's a board of eight Chinamen and maybe one white guy who's Dr. Craig Wright probably, some shit like that. Some, some type of guy like that. And they go one by one. And they're like the mob where only if one of them says to take them out, they do it. There's a scene in Casino at the very end that everyone that uh, a lot of people miss. I should, I should play it. But they go around the table asking if they should hit someone. And the first four guys are like, oh, he's good. We have family. Trust him. The next guy goes, always oh, a good kid. Uh, great. And they all give him a pass, but the last guy goes, eh, why take the risk? And then they show him taking him out, right? Everyone always misses that scene. You can look for it now. Um, so in my opinion, all it takes is one Chinaman at the round table to say, fuck it, push, just push the button pushed up by 10 and it gets pushed and everybody gets squeezed and that's uh all we have to say about that i laid out a couple like little options this is all messed up now i laid out a couple little options of like what i think my personal opinion 
could happen. That was either like, all right, we go down and we bust through the seat coke line and boom, go on even lower. <clears throat> I'll tell you, I I don't find it so likely right now that we hang out at these at, at, at these levels above here, but I could be absolutely wrong. I, it's just not time yet. And it's and, and many would argue there's a 50-50 split right now of what's going to happen next with Bitcoin. 50-50 split. So you know what I'm going with? I'm going with the trend. I'm going with the trend is my friend in the Chinese. And I haven't really been wrong much yet. Um, I've been wrong a couple times. But we've been right. I mean, every little picture. Do, need I say more? You know, we, we have, we've had requests for t-shirts. <clears throat> t-shirts and mugs. All right, so that's enough of Bitcoin analysis. Um, mm, mm. Let's get to uh, let me let me hit up. Let me tell my profit trailer guys if you're trading right now in profit trailer. So um, three days ago, three or four days ago, I may have mentioned this or not. I know I haven't been on YouTube, but I made some adjustments. I deviated from the Cobra, right? And as you guys know, I. Um, I am a person that loves to take on new challenges and always try to improve and try things, right? And so uh, I'm not gonna lie, I switched my Cobra settings to something where it was like the numbers were much bigger, like my uh, trailing, uh, my DCA trailing bell was like 1.1%, shit like that. My buy-in was like one point, minus one and a half percent with a big trail. My sales were at about one and a half percent because I had to see, I had to see and guess what? That got bagged the fuck up. So the moral of the story is stay close to the Cobra because that what works. And so I want to highlight sell values. And so uh, I know some people are using different versions of profit trailers. So this is just for your sell value in the market right now. All the shit coins are getting super shit on by Ethereum, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you guys are hurting right now. But if you are strict Cobra right now, guys, this is this is Cobra fucking in the in the weeds. You need to have your buy, mainly your sell, your sell. Um, I don't, I don't even want it to trail. You might even want to set your sell to like 0.45 or 0.5 percent and trail at 0.1 right that's that's actually what that's then that's being a tight slithering cobra so tight slither tight slither tight slither sports betting all right so i deleted i posted a video last night whoops we'll get to that we'll get to that so i posted a video last night um but i took it off because i just kind of wasn't happy with everything I said um, just wasn't happy with it it wasn't a approved product now throughout these picks we've been through a lot um, most of you guys well shit I started this there most of you guys entered in like on this weekend right here right now I was also making my own picks which I've been sharing with you guys and I've been di diluting diluting it and as hard as it is for me not to say that I'm, I love betting these stankin' yanks, making my stankin' yanks, um, and all these other bets, you know, I can't know. These are only professional bets is that I'm going to share and log, only the bets that we're paying for. Now, on the 29th, we basically leveled up um, into better picks. And that's the only way we're, we're um, up from, like, the regular guys. We spent more money and fired the guy we were sort of worked at like it was half fire half they bumped me up so we got bumped up and as of right now one two three four five if you got every single pick in if we got every single pick in um i didn't even get every single one of these picks i, I told you guys why because i had like a migraine on one and like sometimes these picks come in live sometimes these picks come in like 15 minutes before so it is very important to get the picks in if you want to get in on this and you want to do it and you want to do it successfully you know try try uh, make sure you're checking the discord so anyways we're five and two since the upgrade overall i'm counting these doubles as doubles so like the yanks right here that was a double bet the loss right here with the Dodgers, that was a double bet. So in my opinion, we're up 22 units to, 
Was it 23 to 12? I think we've lost. No, we lost 13. Yeah. 122. Lost 13. 22 divided by 35. So we're at a 62.8% uh, win rate with everything combined. In the past, one, two, three, four, four days. Uh, well, we're five by five divided by seven. Whoops. Jeez. Oh, my number thing isn't working. That's why. Stupid keyboard. Stupid me. Five divided by seven. So we're ever since we got the upgrade, we are at 71% win rate. And you notice that all our bets are only money lines now and overs. Money lines and overs. Mm, we'll see what today brings us. Now, all right. So if you want to get in on these picks, here's what you have to do. Okay. First off, I am no longer going to be giving these picks out just to everyone. And the reason is because, you know, you got to I, I, you, you have skin in the game. What I paid $7,000 for, okay, I have every right for you guys to contribute. You can pay $100, $200 bucks for it. So here's the special, and this is only going to last. This special is for the next Taste Friday. We're going to call it the old Crypto Face Weekend Special. If you want every pick every day through the 28th, that's what we have now. We used we had it from the 17th. We're extending it through the 28th. If you're already in, you're grandfathered in. Thank you for uh, your, your welcome and thank you. So the 28th is, is the last day. Now, some days we only get one. Some days we get two. Some days we get three. Some days there's picks that it's um, so it's quality. This is, we, we, you have to remember quality, not quantity. And careful, you will get swept. You are going to lose games. You are going to lose games. So if you want to get in on it, you're going to go to my YouTube. You're going to click the little description. We're going to play this video. This is a good, we're doing a good video today. I hope you guys are sitting back and you're fucking comfortable. I hope you're comfortable. You go to my description. Here, I'll pull it up right here. All right, here's how you get the pick. Step one, hit the show more on my description thing. And here's my receiving addresses. I'm taking Bitcoin. I'm taking Litecoin. I'm taking Ethereum. I should add Bitcoin. I'm going to add up my Bitcoin cash address in here as well. All right. Now, you send $100 worth. You are a contributor to this address. Then what you're going to do is you're going to uh, private message me on Discord or YouTube. Okay. Those are my two recommended ways, or you could, I, the best way is Discord, because I can add you in the group. You, you want to, you gotta be using Discord to get the picks. You gotta be using Discord, okay? Um, private message me on Discord. The link to my channel's right here. Send me your text ID, uh, transaction ID, boom. I'm gonna put you in the group, and you are going to be a part of the blowout winners. I post the picks right here and blowout winner pers uh, picks. And I post them out in the flopping gropers blowout winners. This is where you, we, everyone, you know, talks about the games and has a good time. All right. Now, where if you if you're completely new, shit, I took off my Bovada link here. Um, so I'm gonna put a link here to the websites I use: Bovada, Nitrogen, and maybe like BetOnline.ag. And there's a couple others. Okay, this is what I use. All right. If you're gonna make a bet, you click, let's say there's a, a baseball, you click sports. Baseball is, uh, you type in the team or look for it here, Yankees. Um, oh, I wanna get a bet, I'm gonna get a bet on this game later, don't you worry. Anyway, you make the bet, you click the little thing, You got y'all can fucking figure it out. All right, so enough about that. 100 bucks. 100 bucks, 100 bucks, and you get what I paid $7,000 for through the 28th. So you decide what you want to do. I don't want to hear anyone bitch. I don't want to hear anyone bitch. All right, now let's get to the drama. 
let's talk about smart contracts. Mm. I hate to say it, but I told you also, all the little clones, my favorite YouTubers, my favorite YouTubers of all kinds, um, were in some type of clone, whether it was one, whether it was two, whether it was, no, uh, I, I feel like I'm the only one, I was the only one, even the professor, even the professor got in something else. Not hating, I'm not hating for what people do is their own decisions, but I am literally the only one who said no. And I told you guys why. And it's really, to me, it's common sense. To me, it's common sense. So, damn, that's all I can say. Now, poo's going to shit, everything's going to shit. I tell you what, you know what else pissed me off? Now, this is fine to me, this is fine. You go to the day, it's no big deal, I'm collecting dividends. I'm making good money off of Proof of Weak Hands. Good money. I mean, my little made a mask. I've made $300 in dividends in, I don't know, maybe a month or something. I got $2,200 worth of dollars in it. Take 10%, whatever. You do the math. Shit. It's, 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 it's a good thing. And I must say that Proof of Weak Hands, if Proof of Weak Hands has marketing problems, which it does, listen, we need to get this, we're, well, we're missing, we're missing organization. So if these guys, if we can, if us, not these guys, us, including the developers, the YouTubers, the assholes, you, me, your mom, if everyone can't get together and organize this shit so we grow, then how do you expect Poo with some fucking asshole who's all by himself and doing whatever and everyone else. How do you expect this shit to work? How do you expect this shit to work? Proof of Craig Grant and the YouTube face shit? Check it. Crypto face? If anyone's going to talk about crypto and faces, it's me. It's me. Because I've experienced all of it. I've experienced the good, the bad. I used to show my face. I used to show my face. The whole thing. None of you have seen that on this channel. But there's history. I have history. Some of you know the history. I have a very few. I have my some some lieutenants. I have some followed, great subscribers that know my history. I scoff. I scoff at thee. So if you're and, and if you're gonna do the YouTube face uh, proof, the proof of poo, proof of you. Right now, there's only one that's got a shot. And this is where we, it, this is where we need the, uh, everyone, the whales, we need more whales. And you know, anything that says, oh, we do this, they, anyone that does something artificial, like cut out the ability of someone to sell, a whale to sell, someone to buy, it is false and it is fake and it will crumble. So it must be pure, must be pure. And the closest enough to pure that we have is proof of we can closest we got so we got to make this work so i think everyone needs to get back on board everyone needs to get back on board and we got to figure out something we got to pull some money for like marking i know like all oh, the master knows they're supposed to take care of it but like this this is too much it's it's, it's this whole all this shit needs to be simplified in a little presentation that we can have parties and sign people up there is so and that's not happening i don't think right now that, 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 it's not happening it's not happening with proof of we can't that needs to happen and i've been thinking i tell you i i know a whale i know someone in proof of we can't who is my friend who just sold 650 he sold 650 p3d tokens told me uh last night so i know what that big drop was that was my friend the big drop, and it wasn't that big of a drop. Hang on. Pretty sure this had to be it. Uh, what time was this? Maybe it was one of these ones. I don't know. It was. Uh, let me see what time it was. Nine o. Oh wait. Nine o'clock last night. Anyways, whatever. Um, this is what happens when you get screwed by someone. Because I'm a fucking asshole. Why? Because I keyed it, I, because I treated Kenny with kids gloves. And I let him put my LinkedIn in a contract that's 
I watched just now disappear from 81 to 71 to 23 to 8. Now there's less than one ETH. It looks like... You know, ETH ain't worth that much, guys. So when you hear, oh, there's a, you know, 10 ETH, that ain't shit. That ain't shit. 100 ETH ain't shit. 1,000 ETH ain't shit, really. So the most... The most we got's with proof of weak hands. Um, I think that about covers it, guys. I'm really disappointed that I can't live stream right now. There's, if someone knows a way to contact YouTube to like see what I have to do to like get my live streaming capabilities back or how I can fight it, please let me know. And when I ask for information, don't come at me with bad information. I really hate it when I, when I, there's, I, I hate it when I get bad information. So don't come to me flopping and groping, tell me some bullshit, okay? And we're gonna see what happens with the Chinese squeeze. Woo! I'm looking forward to it.